Good morning everyone, it's B and it's really early in the morning hence I'm like dying over here. Um, but today I will be taking you guys through the process of me getting a septoplasty and actually this is a state financed operation which is awesome uh, because I have had this problem since birth, I have never been able to breathe through my nose. Um, because I was kind of born with like a crooked nose. Now like my septum is so deviated that no air basically went through it and I had another surgery a year ago which was they removed my adenoid glands with the glands like behind your nose and they were blocking all of my nasal passages because mine were like swollen and massive. I'll be getting this last surgery on my nose and hopefully after that I will be in a breathable condition. They're not going to do anything aesthetically visual on the outside. Um, so that's good news. I quite like my nose. And yeah, I just thought that might be interesting to some of you guys if someone's gonna have the same surgery or wants to know how the recovery period is and stuff like that. I just got all of my documents sorted out and arrived at the hospital. I will be operated in this beautiful building that's absolutely new in our local hospital and that's really cool. Hello there guys, so I woke up from the surgery I'd say about an hour ago and actually it's not that bad like I have no bruises under my eyes because it is a septoplasty not a rhinoplasty. I fainted when they put the needle in my hand because you aren't allowed to eat anything before that and instead of putting it in the vein as usual they did it here and that was really painful. I'm probably under a lot of painkillers right now so I imagine that I feel much better than uh, I probably do but hey being high in the middle of the day who doesn't like that. I'll show you a close-up of this this probably might be a bit gross. There's just blood and a tampon thing sticking under my nose. I think they're gonna let me go home um, tomorrow, so I'll stay for the whole day today. Good morning, everyone. I literally look like the, you know, potato head from uh, Toy Story. <laughs> my nose is so big. Uh, but I just got signed out of hospital and they took off my thingy and they were cleaning my nose in the morning. They were like cleaning the nasal passages and I passed out again. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me, I'm passing out, like it's literally not okay. Super congested, I literally cannot breathe through it at all, but that's gonna pass, I know, so it's gonna be fine. And now I'm gonna go home. I'm also not allowed to eat anything hot for the next two weeks or drink anything hot. So I just got home and I don't even look half as tragic as I thought. And someone's calling me. I put my contacts in and my nose is... Let's look at it. It looks like a potato. It has like plastic sticks and stitches of blood in it, which you can see. Hello there, guys. So it is day three post-surgery and I actually somewhat look and feel like a human being because I showered today and like washed my hair and everything. Um, and actually today in the morning it was... Oh my god. <laughs> It was more painful than it was yesterday because I feel like maybe the anesthesia or like the pain injections are going away. It's so hard to drink because whenever you swallow, I guess like air comes out of your nose. So everything just like starts bubbling up in there and it's super gross. So I have to walk around with like tissues all the time. It looks around this size. You can kind of see the stitches in there. This, this is a very flattering angle. Yeah, I have like a plastic piece inside my nose and it's kind of, it's painful to touch it. It feels like there's like a foreign object on my face, like my nose isn't supposed to be there. I'm drinking anti-infection uh, antibiotics at the moment and I have to drink them for the next six days. Moxilin. I'm also using a nasal spray called Septanasal. After they take out the plastic pieces of my nose, I'm gonna have to wash my nose with daylight spray so this is called hoover and i will also have to use some kind of nose oil and i think that's ow ow i flinched my lip and it was really painful so yeah i guess that's it for the nose update and to entertain myself i'm actually learning how to use a dj turntable that my friend lent me for a couple of days and i'm using this program called virtual dj that he installed and literally just like playing around with it i sat with this thing yesterday for three hours trying to figure out how to do everything and I didn't use a single instruction or YouTube video or nothing. I just literally sat there until I figured out how to use it and I think I kind of did like figure out all the basics. Switching songs and with Q and master means and like adding up some like basic effects. <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah as you can tell i'm like mega professional <laughs> hey guys so it is the evening of day four of my recovery and there's like air flowing through my nose like a little bit of air but that's still better than nothing and i'm having an iced coffee it's like nine o'clock but i have so much work to do so i think i'm gonna have to pull an all-nighter and caffeine is necessary i think there's like more swelling on this side than there is on this side not being able to leave home for such a long time actually made me realize even more how much of a social butterfly i am because i'm so not used to just like sitting in my room all the time. It's actually been very productive because there's a lot of stuff that just kind of, you know, piles up. Hello! So it's quite unusual to see myself with makeup on my face, but it's day six, I think, post-surgery. I'm still really congested, but like air kind of flows through my nose and it is still swollen and I think this side is still bigger than that side and it still obviously hurts. I can't really like rub my lips together because if i pull the upper lip then it really really hurts i'm gonna go out of the house for the first time yesterday i went for a walk in the forest but i'm gonna go to the city and do some stuff that i need to do hello to day eight of my nose recovery and today i'm actually gonna be going to the doctors to take out the plastic carcass of my nose and i mean i think it looks all right now it's still a bit bigger than usual but I think it's straighter now than it used to be before, but I don't know. Um, basically, yeah, I'm so excited for them to take that concoction out because it's like hurts your nose and it's so like obstructing and it doesn't allow you to breathe really. Let's call a taxi and go to the hospital. Oh my god, guys. This is a feeling I've never felt before in my life. I feel like I'm almost about to cry. They took out these massive pieces of plastic. I'll show them to you because I actually took it with me. Um, they gave it to me and like they were literally like this long up my nose i feel oxygen and it's flowing through like so easily and without any effort and like <laughs> this is unreal i can breathe i can actually breathe i want to say thank you to my two doctors who are amazing and one of them was just like oh what, what's your youtube channel i was like okay um so thank you to dr sumarax and dr sokolovskaris because they were the two guys responsible for making my nose into a magical actually functioning thing hello there guys so today i'm actually going to the final last checkup for my nose and they're just gonna see if everything's okay and it has healed fully it has been a full two weeks two weeks on wednesday was my surgery and it's wednesday today it's breathing it's working fine i'm literally so happy about it like i can sleep with my mouth closed it takes some getting used to obviously because um you know i've been breathing through my mouth my entire life so it's a bit difficult to just get used to the fact that i can use my nose the main part is that i actually can and that's really great and i'm really happy so thank you so much to my doctors and i think that's actually where i'm gonna end this vlog on this wonderful good note because i'm not too sure if there's anything more i can tell you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you're getting similar surgery you will know the process that you'll have to go through with it um, I love you all and be safe and be healthy and goodbye. <laughs>